my powerful golden gods and goddesses. As we each set out for our Ithaca today, let us open our hearts and minds to the opportunities for growth and connection in every precious moment of our affluent journey. The only thing that's going to make you happy right now is to step up to your full power. It's to raise the standard to discover what you are capable of. It's to feel your incredible power pushing through whatever illusion is holding you back. Your mission in life is to become your true self. As Socrates, the great teacher, once said, if you want to change the world, first change yourself. When you step into your fears and continue to push yourself to go on, something happens for you. You begin to attract opportunities. You look at successful people and you think to yourself, wow, what a genius. You have to remember something. People are rewarded in public for what they have practiced in years in private spaces. They say it takes over 10,000 hours of practice to develop mastery. But if you have a passion for what you do, those 10,000 hours will flow from you. If you don't develop the courage to fulfill your potential, to become all that you can be, and instead you spend a lot of time going around trying to convince other people or to get their approval, what will always happen is you will lose your nerve. You will lose your power. They will suck it out of you with their negative, fear-based thinking. Other people will try to convince you that you are doing the wrong thing. That it doesn't have any value and that you should give up your dream. Think for a moment, how much time do you have left on this planet? How important are your problems in the grand scheme of things? Yes, you feel frustrated. Yes, you feel trapped often. But what are you doing about changing the way you are thinking? Your thoughts become your actions, become your life. So change your thoughts, change your life. Stop wasting valuable time. If you want something, you've got to be relentless like Odysseus. You've got to become resourceful and more creative. You've got to shed your skin to become a butterfly. You've got to let go of anything that's weighing you down. You are born a leader, even if you can't see it now. You have to think of yourself as the person you are wanting to become. Be that person now. Ask yourself, what kind of person do I want to become? What will be my values? And adopt them here and now in your life. Don't wait until tomorrow to be who you want to be. The power to hold on in spite of everything, the power to endure is the winner's quality. It's the champion's quality. It is a divine quality that you have in you. Yes, my golden gods and goddesses. The ability to face defeat again and again without giving up, but instead to use each failure as an opportunity for growth, to get better, to change, to improve. This is a champion's quality. It is the quality of great heroes like Leonidas, of great goddesses and Amazons. But never fear that you are alone on this journey. You can connect to a power that is much greater than your little ego. Just like an electrical device which is 
put in the plug, unless you turn the switch on, the energy cannot flow. How can I connect, you ask? How can I turn that switch? See how you can serve others, how you can really improve the life of others. And this will return to you many fold. This will raise your vibration. This will raise your power and your energy. Don't ask me how it works. I don't know. This is a mystery. All I know is that it exits and becomes available to you when you start caring about how to help others to improve their life, to change their life, to add value to their life, to give them courage, to give them practical assistance on their path. There is greatness in you and you have to learn to tune out the critic in you. The critic inside is the harshest. Instead, you should constantly encourage yourself with thoughts like, I am going to achieve it no matter what. I am going to harness my will. I deserve the very best. I will survive, I will thrive, I will use everything towards the accomplishment of my mission. Most people give up their ideals. Another person may reject their ideal or proposal and it just takes the wind out of your sails. Do you have any idea how powerful the human spirit is? There is nothing as powerful as the human spirit. Remember that you can be unstoppable. Always remember, you are a born champion. You can achieve your dream. Nothing outside of you can stop you. Stay focused. Keep motivating yourself and others. You are destined for greatness.